Before this video starts, please do hit that subscribe button for my main channel because this data shows that many people who watch my videos are not subscribed. There. This is a full in depth full review of this 2021 Peugeot 108 1 litre in the collection trim showing the exterior engine interior. The exterior colour is zircon grey with black decals on the bonnet and B pillars. There is also chrome exterior side door mirrors. The interior has orange mayor lined dresser cloth seats with yellow sun stitching. There is also smooth green interior pieces. This has a three spoke level wrap multifunctional steering wheel with black piano trim on the spokes. For transmission choices, there's a tr the 108 comes available with a 5 speed manual. This is a 5 speed manual. When you put the car in reverse, there's a coloured reversing camera. It comes the standard on the collection trim. Mechanical handbrake. Now let's take a look at exterior. Turn on the hazard lights. The hazard lights are not working. Let's put on the side lights and the front and rear fog light. Open up the fuel flap. For the wheels, this has 15-inch foreign door tone twin spoke alloy rims with a lime green coloured centre crack. These are wrapped in Conti Echo Contact 165-60R15 tyres. This has automatic halogen project headlights with LED daytime running lights on the headlights and down below in the front fog light area. This has halogen front fog lights. The Peugeot 108 is a city car, a replacement for the Peugeot 107. It was introduced in 2014 with sales starting in June 2014. Before I start talking more about this model, let's talk about history. PSA Peugeot Citroen joint ventured with Toyota to start the B0 project, created a trio of city cars or A segment cars, all built in Corlean Czech Republic and marketed from 2005 onwards. This joint venture, called Toyota Peugeot Citroen Automobile Czech, the city cars were the Citroen C1, the Peugeot 107, and the Toyota Igo. The trio of city cars were rebadged versions of each other to help with development costs but with their own styling to suit different types of customers. The aim is to produce affordable and simple small cars for new young drivers. For body styles, the 108 came in 3-door and 5-door hatchback forms. There was also an option of a canvas roof version available on both 3-door and 5-door forms, known as the top. The Peugeot 108 has been on sale for 7 years without a facelift, except for a few minor model updates. In fact, the Toyota Igo is the only one out of the trio to receive a facelift in 2018. How strange is that? The future regarding the Peugeot 108, it will not live on for the next phase and will be discontinued shortly. This also applies to the Citroen C1. Toyota had already taken full ownership of the plant in Czech Republic and the Toyota Igo will continue to live on for the next phase. The Peugeot 108 went on sale in the UK in July 2014. The current trim levels are Active, Allure and Collection with pricing starts at £13,000. The past trim levels offered were the range topping fee line the sporty GT line and the special edition Roland Garros. As of now, the 108 is only available in 5-door form. For the design, I think the 108 looks cute and fierce at the same time.
For engines, the 108 is only available with a one liter petrol engine. In the past, the 108 used to be available with a 1.2 liter pure tech petrol engine, but was discontinued in 2018. Under the bonnet is a one liter inline free 12 valve dual overhead cam naturally aspirated petrol engine with VVTI, short for variable valve timing with intelligence and multi-point fuel injection. This engine produces 72 horsepower at 6000 RPM and 93 Nm of torque at 4400 RPM. For performance figures, this has a 0-100 km per hour or 0-62 miles per hour time in 13.8 seconds and the top speed of 159 km per hour or 99 miles per hour. This 108 has a combined fuel consumption of 4.9 litres per 100 km or 57.6 miles per gallon and CO2 emissions of 111 grams per kilometre based on the WLTP scheme. This has a 35 litre fuel tank and the 108 is a front wheel drive car. The front doors have hard plastic materials throughout. There's all six exterior body panels that extend into the inside of the front doors. Front electric windows. I think that I don't think they have the automatic function. Chrome door handles. Down below is a decent sized door pocket. To the right of the steering wheel column, there's also this lime green trim on the air vents. Down below that is the, the electric mirror controls, button to deactivate the traction control. Down below is the button for the auto start and start feature. Switch to just the heart of the headlights. Fuel flap release. Manual transmission free pair doors. The bonnet release is located on the left side. Peugeot door seals. Driver's seat has full manual adjustments. Height adjustment sliding and in the middle is the knob to recline the steering wheel has manual tilt only adjustment adjust it using this lever down here on the steering wheel on the white space is the bluetooth accept or decline or call the bottom white store is the cruise control on the left spoke is the volume seat track and this button changes between the various meter sources. The right store is the right controls. The left store is the light fog light and indicator control. This one has automatic lights. The 108 has a cool instrument cluster, speedometer in the center while there is a tachometer on the left side. Use these two trip buttons to cycle between the trip computer. The collection trim comes with single zone automatic climate control, temperature on the left side, fan speed on the right. With circulation, different zones, AC, front and rear defrost, as well as the automatic mode. For infotainment, this has a 7 inch competitive touchscreen system. This contains various media options, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, Mirror Screen, and sound is provided via four speakers. I can't turn the infotainment on because I don't have the key on me. This is the button to for the voice control and I, I think this button goes between allows you to go to your main menu, menu down below that is the hazard light switch which is not working passenger airbag indicator on the top part of the dashboard down below is a bit of storage along with the usb and auxiliary input as a 12 and a 12 volt power outlet bit of storage there to call holders in front of the transmission gearbox Behind the parking brake, handbrake is a cup holder, it can be shared between the front and rear occupants. Manual doing rear view mirror. Interior front reading lights, which is not working. Driver side sun visor with a vanity mirror. There's no grip handle, front grip handles on this one. To summarise this Persia 108's interior, it is a fascinating interior to look at including these instrument dials and all the controls are simple to operate. The seats may not feel as comfortable compared to other cars. 
and there are soft hard top plastic materials on the dashboard that's what you expect from a city car a segment car now let's take a look at the rear seats The rear doors have the same materials as the front doors. The rear windows do not wind up, but they pop up open as a vent. Let's close that. There's a decent sized door pocket down below. The rear seats do fall down if you need extra space, which I'll show you later on. Now let's check out rear seat space. For rear seat space, I'm a short person. I've got a small amount of leg room and a small amount of head room. Tall people, six footers, will be crammed back in terms of rear seat space. There are no front seat back pockets on this one. No rear centre armrest, no rear interior lights, no rear grip handles. The rear boot is entirely made out of glass to help keep cross down of this vehicle. Boot space stands at 196 litres with the rear seats up. Down below the boot floor is a tool kit. The rear seats do fold out if you need extra space. It expands to 780 litres. You just have to pull these levers here. They fall down 50-50. Isofix charge the anchor points on the rear seats. The front passenger seat has the same adjustment as the driver's seat except for the seat height. This has six airbags, glove box which is of a decent size, there's a storage area there, front release on there, in under there. This is the end of the video now. Like this video, comment down below, subscribe if you're interested and don't forget to turn on the bell icon to see alerts when I upload a new video in the future.